Good guys, we're back at it again with another video. As you can see by the title, we got Kennedy Chandler today, number one point guard in the class of 2021, number eight player in the class of 2021, according to ESPN. I first saw him, it was a it was a Ja Morant. He played, I think it was last summer. Uh he had like a run at his not at his house, but somewhere close to his house or something, some type of gym. And I remember seeing this kid and he was killing the whole gym. And I mean Ja was in there, campaign was in there. Some overseas pros was in there. So I'm like, this is a high level run. And this kid, he looks like he's in high school, but he's killing. Like, who is this? Turned out to be Kennedy Chandler. Um, I'm excited for this one. So, you know, like if, if I can't find a full game of someone, we'll find two. And so we're going to look at his Geico Nationals game. So these are against some of the best teams in the country. First one's going to be against Prolific Prep. Second one's going to be against IMG. Again, these are both top 10 teams in the country. So this is real competition. There's no ducking. Like I said, from what I've seen in the pickup, I'm extra excited for this one. Let's go. Good closeout on this possession, getting the stop. Kennedy is also a blur in transition, as you can see here, speeding past every defender on the floor, and he also has great vision to get his teammate the layup. He also shows that if you don't step up, he's not afraid to shoot from deep and knock it down. Kennedy's also an extremely smart defender, recognizing the big can't see from the backside. And from the second he got this steal, it took him four seconds to get to the rim. On defense, make sure you guys are always between the offensive player and the rim. And if you do try to gamble, make sure you get it or you're going to get caught with back cuts just like this. I want you guys to notice Kennedy's patience here. As he doesn't get what he wants initially, he then decides to just go into an ISO, get to his spot, turn around jumper. That's a pro move. Kennedy is also an extremely shifty ball handler, and if he recognizes a favorable matchup like the one here, he won't hesitate to go to work. And this pro dribble that he's doing around the paint, the patience that it takes to do this, and IQ I haven't seen from a high school point guard in a long time. He's also pretty active on the boards, and great touch here on this putback. A pass will always move faster than the defense, and Kennedy did a great job recognizing this. I want you guys to take note of Kennedy's defense with a time and score. Down one with a minute 48 left, he actually forces the steal on this possession and throws a perfect pass to his teammate to give his team the lead. As I said before, he's a blur in transition and he also has a lot of finishes in his bag, including the floater. There's honestly not much to say about this possession except for it's just disgusting. Snatch back into a head fake crossover while the defender's lifted right into the lay. Tough. As an extremely smart defender, Kennedy has the IQ to know when and where to take charges. Like I said, when he gets a favorable matchup, he'll wave his teammate off, doesn't play with the ball a lot, just quick crosses right into a tough floater. Again, I want you guys to take note of the time and score of these next two possessions. These are both late in the game, and these are extremely clutch plays for Kennedy. I want you guys to take note of what Kennedy's doing and add it to your game. When you have a mismatch, do not play with the ball and just go straight at him and so get the Kennedy, bucket. Bro, like, I'm going to say this. Number number eight, we're going to have to check because there's five players in between the top two and him. Like I, like I said at the beginning, they're all bigs. They're all above 6'8". We're going to have to uh, look at him because this kid, he, he checks every – single box you want from from your point guard from your leader of your team he checks every single box so offensively he doesn't take a lot of threes but when he takes them he makes them he can shoot them off the dribble he can shoot them off the catch he can shoot them in the clutch like at the end of the game he hits a clutch three he got the mid-range like i showed you guys when he he just breaks off into an iso turnaround jumper that's tough he's stocky so he has a he has a good body he can finish in traffic because of that he got the floaters. He got all the finishes. Um, he can pass. Dude can pass. He got vision. He knows where to get the ball to. It seems like he never makes the wrong play. He's always in the right spot. Like when he got the offensive rebound, put it back. Or he's always making the right play. This dude is electric in transition. Like electric. It took him four seconds. Four seconds to get the steal on the block on the other side of the court and get to the rim and finish the lay. Like that's, that's tough. And that's one thing I do want you guys to pick up from him. Like even being as a former big, when we get it on the block, we do tend to, we'll have it right here. And we'll be, like I tell you guys, uh, the other bigs, 
look and see who's cutting. So when we do look to see, look across the court, it's not hard to come behind us, tap it. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like how Jordan did against uh, Utah. So it's not, it's not hard. Like he's an extremely cerebral defender, understanding that. Or even when he takes the charge, there aren't a lot of high school players in general taking charges at all. You know what I'm saying? He's a smart player. I didn't put it in the video. Uh, towards the end of the IMG game, he had a clutch tie-up with one of uh, their players after they missed a shot. He got the jump ball, which ended up uh, giving his team the ball again, which ended up getting them the win. Like this dude, he he does, he literally, he does everything on the court like you want you want your guard to do smart player ex gives extremely high effort and is a leader i saw in the video he somebody makes a bad play or somebody gets fouled he's calling his teammates oh everybody come in everybody come in like you're not going to find that a lot especially at the high school level in this day and age you're not going to find like ready-made like winners like winners and hoopers who, who love to hoop who who love to do what they do, who love to compete, things like that. Like he checks every single box. So we're going to have to, we're really going to have to look at, you know what I'm saying, three through seven to see like, okay, are they really that much better than Kennedy right now? Or is it just, like I said in the last video, they're projecting like, okay, this is, these kids that are above them are probably one day might get drafted higher than them or something like that. Cause that, that is a factor sometimes in the rankings, but all in all, like I'm saying, like this kid is, He's the truth. Like, like he's he has he has everything. I I didn't really see I didn't really see a weakness at the point guard position. I'm gonna be real. I didn't really I didn't really see one. I mean, maybe he his jumper because he doesn't take a lot of them. But I mean, he looks really effective right now. So I don't really I don't really see a weakness at the point guard spot. But uh, all in all, he is a great player. Great player. Definitely lottery pick within the next couple of years. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Remember, keep sending your film to the uh, email in the description with a game pick as well as your jersey number. Uh, like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and we're going to be back at it on Friday with a new video.